Well, hey there, this is Bakari Shivana with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, in this particular video, I'm going to give an overview of MIMS recently released AI writing feature, and I'm going to explain why I think MIM is the most powerful tool for building a second brain. So stick around and check it out. All right, I'm back again with another video here, and I'm going to talk about MIM, and I've done a video about MIM about a year ago, over a year ago, and I just want to do, do another one because of some recent updates. And one of the updates is about its uh, recent AI that uh, they released last night to uh, a lot of people on the list. And um, so I want to kind of go into that, but also I really want to talk more too about why I think MIM is one of the best tools for uh, building a second brain. So let me get rid of this here. Basically, in terms of building a second brain, for me, it all happens right here in the sidebar. For me, this is the number one reason I came back to MIM and I'm going to stick with MIM. And what this does is, it's kind of unique, I think, from, in, from other applications, is, is that MIM will show you related MIMs or related notes to the current MIM that you have open. So, for example, this MIM is about MIM, right? And it shows the top, some of the top three, and then it shows some of the other ones that I have written here, all the way back from, you know, May 21, right? And so, um, basically, some of those similar MIMs are based upon the title of the MIM, the content of the MIM, or tags. All right, so that's how, that's kind of how they do it. And so they do some kind of fancy kind of, um, you know, artificial intelligence, if you will, or some kind of setup, some coding, whatever it does, it does, and it goes and does that. So that to me is the key thing because when I write a lot of notes, I don't want them to get lost. I want to be able to retrieve them. Now I can go up in here and do a search right, and find some of these similar, similar MIMS right here. But quite honestly, I rarely use the search unless I'm looking for something very particular, and that doesn't really happen a lot. But what, what I do do is I will look, look at some of these notes, and I will go down and preview them because you can go down and scroll and preview them, and you can also open this note up into the sidebar and, and make changes. So that is a part of the MX. That's the, that's the, the, the paid version of MIM. If you have the free version of MIM, uh, it relies on connecting using, um, you know, uh, using bi-directional links as well as uh, tags, all right? Now, another feature that is a part of uh, MIMX, and they just introduced this recently, and it's only in, I think, the web version, and it's only to people who are beta testing it, but I want to show you to it. So they started to suggest topics or tags that you can add to a MIM. So you see that I clicked on a couple of these right now, and these are the ones I kind of want this MIM to be remembered for, right? And so it was suggested there, and you can also click here, and you can see a, a list of people and events and other topics that you have that you can also add to this MIM if, if, if you want to make sure that it's relatable. Now, I'm not gonna click on it right now because there's some people's uh, email addresses that I don't want to expose. Now, so anyway, that right there is the key thing for me in terms of MIM. Now, one of the persons in here that I do want to show is, uh, I, want to, I can't pronounce his name correctly, so I'm not going to butcher it, but look up this name here. He has a lot of good videos on uh, how to use MIM. He has a, maybe, I don't know, 20 of them or so. So definitely, and he shows up because he's in some of my notes. All right, so that's the key reason why I think MIM um, is great for the second brain, uh, as well as other, other reasons as well, but that, that's, the, that's the key reason. All right, now the second thing is AI. All right, so it has, a, it has this AI feature now, and what you're looking at is an outline, and this outline was actually produced by MIM's AI. All right, I asked it to outline my thoughts about MIM, and it kicked this out, and mainly it was is is showing a lot of the things that I've written about MIM already, and I've put a lot of information in there. So the more information that you have, the more it can rely on. Now, there's a caveat to it is that I don't think that any AI can, it cannot read your brain. It cannot, uh, it needs a lot of information in order to 
uh, produce content for you to give you results, right? And so sometimes it's going to go off into the internet and pull that because there's a lot more information on the internet that's in your mem. But if you are style, if you're building a lot of notes like I've done here about mem or any other topic, then it will give you some information that you're looking for. But it's not always 100% um, accurate. Now, another feature that it has is called smart editing. And what you can do here is you can highlight this, for example, and I do a click on this and I say, well, I want you to write and enhance this particular highlight. All right. And so it will do this. All right. So it, it enhanced it a little bit and says the overview of MEM is features and how it can help uh, with writing with the focus on the benefits of MEM X. Eh, okay, that's, that's okay, but let's try another one. All right, so it provides a little bit more information, over, uh, overview of MEM, its features and how it can help with writing such as a timeline, inbox, task, flows, groups, et cetera, start items. So it gives you a little bit more information as well. So again, now you, it might not always kick out to what you like. So I'm not going to promise that, you know, 100% it's going to give 100% of what you're looking for. But now as you retry this, you can retry it uh, as many times as you want, right? Uh, and it would, you, it would not be charged for it. You know, we would, not, we would not lose credits for it. But once you copy this or replace it or kick, kick outside of it, then you are kind of charged for, you know, you're charged a credit for, for using that uh, particular, um, you know, uh, generation, right? So that I'm going to talk about that in a second. Um, talk more about that in terms of the credits, but, but that's what the power of the mem can do. And so basically when you want to generate a, a mem, you can either click on this button here or you can go to a new mem, right? And, uh, you can just, you know, press the button there and says, uh, let's see, I want to, when did I start the keto diet. Let's see what it what it says. I'm gonna kick that in there. All right. So it says June uh, uh, on J June twentieth, two thousand one, when I ordered the first uh, keto meal from Taco Bell. Da 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 da. All right. So that's not really what I asked it. All right. That information is in my mem, but there is a mem. Um, about, let me see about the memo about my weight. Let me see if that's in there. What is my current weight? All right. Uh, your current weight is mostly determined by the diet and exercise habits since June 20th, 2021. I don't think I've had any any uh, background information for 2021. I think the last time I talked about my current weight was in November of this year. So again, I can go back and check that, but I don't think that is there. Um, and it's not, there is a specific mem about my weight that it should be in there. So that's not good. Um, so here's the mem that it did pull from. And let's see, uh, there's a little note there. It's a little bit too personal. I'm not going to go into that one. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, this is not 100% accurate. There is a mem in there that should show up that talked about what my current weight is. So again, when it gets very personal, I don't know how good it can be. It could get better depending on the more information I give it and how I ask the question. But right now it's not doing a very good job. So let me go up here and go to settings so you can, I can, you can find out um, how much mem credits you have. So I have 18 mem credits and it should be showing how much those mem credits cost. I don't know why that's not showing right now. Uh, hmm, that's really weird. Okay, it's not in there for some reason, but basically they will give you, I think 50 credits while you're doing the beta testing. And so I kind of do a lot, been doing a lot of testing, even for preparation for this video, but also, uh, they give you 250 credits, I think for $39. And then I think 500 credits for, I think it was $60 or something like that. And so, um, you, I think you will find that you don't, you won't be using the AI all the time, unless you're doing some kind of like, you know, uh, copyright, 
uh, kind of service or something like that, I don't think that you personally will be using it every day because again, it's a lot of the, a lot of this, um, content development is based upon what's already available and how you ask the question, but it can do a lot of good things. So I, I, I want to just say that it can do a lot of good stuff and it's worth checking out. It's worth kind of putting yourself on the waiting list and, and definitely it's, it's worth, um, you know, starting using MEM for building the second brain here. So you see here, the similar MEM that I have so far here is about the keto. And we I have more uh, MEMs about keto, and I'm surprised that it's not kicking out more related MEMs in that particular grant. But I just want to be honest with you and show you what uh, it is here. Um, and, uh, you know, just to kind of let you see from an honest point of view um, what it's like. And so this is it. So let me know what you think about MIM and what you think about other uh, notebooks that you're using. And if you're using the AI, let me know what you think. Thanks a lot. Check you in the next video.